Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stocks Will Show Market Review of the QQQs. It's a holiday weekend, and the market is an open Monday tomorrow. It's not open until Tuesday the 17th. But on Friday, the market actually had a beautiful cap up and a rally and made it up to the next number here, which is basically 107, rallied into the close, straight up into the close. And I don't know where we gap on Tuesday morning, which is the next day we're open. But, uh, you know, nothing would surprise me here. We can actually continue going straight up another day in here. It's really going to depend on where we got first thing Tuesday morning, how we set up and trade on the day on Tuesday, and really for the rest of the week. But I did say a few videos ago that February would be a really bullish month, and actually, wow, I'm looking at this here. Uh, every day in the month of February was green except for one. One day so far in the month of February was red. Now again, you can't tell everything necessarily from the color of the bar, but I'm just saying this is a very bullish month. We've had nothing but a constant rally here. Low for the month was set on 2-2, and we've just continued to rally, and we just made a new high here, most recent high in the queues. So the market is very bullish, and it's continuing the uptrend. It never broke the uptrend. I know a lot of people were convinced the market was going to be lower back in here, and then in here, and then in here, and all of this in here. Uh, but I, I was calling the market to hold and make new highs when all of this was happening. And how did I know that? Because I read gaps. The way that I trade is very specific. It's based on price action that happens in gaps. That's what tells me what a trend is in a chart or even the market, like the QQQs. There are so many people on the planet that really want to learn how to trade or I shouldn't say want to learn how. They, they want to make money in the market. There's a lot of people that want to make money in the stock market, <clears throat> but not everyone wants to actually learn how to make money in the stock market. Some people do want to learn how to make money in the market, and they have tried to learn through books or maybe specific classes, and they haven't been able to become profitable and learn the right method. I really was lucky early in my trading uh, experiences to find out about gaps, to teach myself this way that I do things, uh, because there's a lot of other different roads you can go down before you find something that works. I was just, you know, destined to do this because it was something that I saw in the market really early on, but it did take me time to figure this out too. I do trade. I trade every day, every day that there's a good quality gap. I don't trade the market every day. I look at the market. I look at the market because I like to know what's happening in the overall general market. I run a live trading room that helps me lead people when I'm looking at what the market's doing. It's also important, I think, to see if the market's power trending on the day up or down in reference to holding your position if you're holding it to a dream target if you're already in something. It's not about taking it, it's about whether or not you're already in it and how long you want to be in the position. I prefer to trade in the morning, but if the market's power trending one direction into the afternoon, you might want to stay with the trade or exit the trade depending on if you're in a long or a short. The market has had some beautiful, beautiful green bullish days that have set up very early here, even in this month of February and really in the last week. In fact, let's look at the 15-minute chart. I think this 15-minute chart, ever since 2.9, <clears throat> has held the uptrend here even on this, this smaller time frame. Okay, it was never broken on the daily, but that's a larger time frame. But I'm saying in the shorter intraday time frame in the 15-minute chart, this uh, QQQs, back since really towards the end of the close of 2.9, so one, two, three, for four solid days here. The market has held the intraday uptrend, which is really a nice chart here. I mean, it's just beautiful. So I know a lot of people shorted the market thinking it was going to come in, it was extended and everything back in here, but it wasn't. And I know people teach and talk about certain methods that might have pinpointed that that was a turn in the market direction. But that's only if you look at other things in the chart, not price action or not gaps. And it's not just price action, it is the price action in a gap. That is the very specific and detailed way that I look at a chart to determine how to trade it intraday, during the live day, and then in the overall bigger picture. It's the price action within the gap itself. It's not just price action, because as I pointed out, there was selling that happened here 
in these red bars down in this last two months. So the price action incorporated selling, but it wasn't real weakness or bearishness in the chart. And how do I know? Because we're reading the gaps in the market, both the bullish gaps and the bearish gaps, by the way. So the next Golden Gap class is February 21st and 22nd. If you're interested in signing up, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you would like a trial to the live trading room, I give a one-week trial that you can come in and observe me trading live. I only call out usually about two top picks a day, sometimes three if I like more than that. Personally, I usually try to stick to doing one, but I do also call the market every day if you want to be in a position in the live market in the QQQ is with a spy. And I've been reading the market very accurately, and it's based on the fact that I can read gaps well, because you can rate the gaps in any ETF, and the QQQs and SPY is just ETFs in the market. So you could be rating them every morning to determine how to trade them and play them. But I wouldn't be surprised <clears throat> if we gapped up Tuesday morning because of the way we closed here on Friday and the holiday weekend. I'm not saying 100% conviction that we're going to gap up in the gap Tuesday morning. I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised, and I'm throwing it out there, that we could actually gap up again and rally another day. And I just wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I won't know till I get up in the morning on Tuesday morning, which is a long way away, and see the gap. But I will say the market has, it's just beautiful, and it's going to continue higher. And like I said back in the letter that I wrote a few months back, at the end of December, the market's going to have a very large bullish move this year, larger than anyone's expecting. Even people that think that the market is still strong and held and never thought it was going to collapse in there like a lot of people were saying it was going to crash. Even people think that the market's bullish this year have no idea how bullish the market is actually going to be. I'm telling you that the market's going to be very bullish this year, more than expected, even the people that are expecting the market to fall through in the trend. It is going to be an astronomical move up that the market has this year because of the way a lot of things are setting up and playing out in the market. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone.